it, Sunny and Finn's Games and Grabs Podcast. Now sponsored by Gamerborn Clothing and the Fatal Grips. Go to gamerborn.co.uk or fatalgrips.com and use the code DDGAMING for 10% off your next order. What's up guys, welcome to episode 69 of the Games and Grabs Podcast. Oh. I'm Sunny and with me as always is Finn Steele. Hello. 69. How you doing Finn? Very good, thank you. How are you? I'm very good, thank you very much. I'm glad that we've hit a childish point in our podcasting lives. <laughs> the most childish of landmarks. We've done it. <laughs> we have done it. It's taken us a, a long time and a lot of dick jokes to get here. <laughs> it did. But we finally made the pinnacle of all the numbers, 69. We did. We did it. The best number. I feel like we best deserve this. We, we deserve this podcast and we deserve it <laughs> to be the most immature, most ridiculous, sex joke, dick joke filled podcast of any and all time. Absolutely. I'll drink to that. Yeah. <laughs> what are you going to drink to it? Uh, <coughs> I'm choking on impact. Um, Red Thunder. It's like uh, like Red, Red Bull. Red Thunder? Yeah, like Red Bull, but cheap and Aldi. Oh, okay. Cheap Aldi alternative. <laughs> there you go. See, Tastes no matter what carbonated soft drink you drink, there is always a cheap alternative. Of course. It's, it's like the colour scheme always. is like identical as well. It's like, I'm not even trying to hide it. Like we're literally Red Bull, but no, this is cheaper. <laughs> did, did you get it from? Uh, did you get it from uh, Aldi? I did. Yeah. See, they they, they have no chill with their <laughs> branding. Do like, it's ridiculous. Yeah. It's like fair, I think most yeah. supermarkets are sort of like it now. Pretty much. Yeah. But it's it's the same in there. Right, well, well. Yeah. I mean, like, as to have this thing called Doctor Thunder, right? <laughs> Which, by mm, the way, is a great name. It is a great name. <laughs> Yeah, it's a great name, but it's it's basically it's just Dr. Pepper, to be honest. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Aldi really are. They hit it out of the park with their um, with their non-hidden branding, <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah. But I was eating some uh, not mini cheddars earlier. I can't remember what they called them. But literally had the same logo and everything, almost. But slightly changed that I can't get sued, but yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. I know. Tasty, though. Finn. Hello. <laughs> I'm glad they were tasty, yeah. but what have you been playing this week? Uh, I'm playing lots of things actually. Uh, I'm playing a lot of Sonic games, thanks to uh, Sonic Mania Hope Week. Everyone Hope Gaming, which has been very successful. Big thanks to anyone who uh, turned up, joined out, subscribed. Absolutely, thank very you successful. so much. It's been a big success. It's uh, our first proper like event week, I think. Really, yeah, it was good. We'll be we'll uh, doing it again for sure. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, because I mean, there's a Mario game coming out this year. I'm sure you can. Uh, Go into the vault oh, hell yes. and pull out some Mario games. Of course. Classic Mario games. Absolutely. Um, I have to be honest with you, Finn. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed there was no Sonic Fighters. Uh, yeah, we'll see that's more of a, not really modern, but it's more of a 3D one. So maybe save that for like Sonic Forces hype week. Yeah. Question mark? Question mark. Is that game going to be good? Probably not. But <laughs> What, Sonic Forces? Yeah. I mean, it no, might be. I don't think it is. Mm. No, it won't be. But uh, Infinite has cool music. Infinite, mm. Infinite the Hedgehog, or whatever he is. Yeah. No, I don't <laughs> think it's going to be very good. Yeah, probably not. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so you've been playing a lot of Sonic games. Yes. Sonic Mania and Unlike Forces is excellent. Um, yeah, it's so, so good. Nostalgia all over the place. Yeah. It's so good. Play, play Talk to me about it, Finn. I want to know what you think of it. So I did the entire playthrough on one day, Juma. It was like five hours long. It was crazy. Most of that was for me trying to get through bonus stages. <laughs> um, it's so good. Everything's good. The music is amazing. All this, the new stages are the great. The music is amazing. It's so good. Yep. Uh, the new stages are great. The remix stages are excellent. It's it's so, so good. If you're, if you're a fan, I knew you'd like it. Of course. If you're, a Sonic, if you're a Sonic fan, you need to play this game. It's good, good, goodbye. Now. Stop, I mean, stop the podcast. Honest, stop th- goodbye. <laughs> Don't... <laughs> Stop listening to the podcast. We, Keep listening to the podcast yeah. while it's downloading. Yeah, there you go. Even better. And then, then listen to us on a background app yeah. whilst you're playing it. Perfect. In fact, don't do that. Fuck this podcast stuff. <laughs> go and play Sonic Mania and listen to how awesome the music is. It's so, so good. Fair point. It's very good. Yeah. It's really amazing. I mean, I put it on. Um, thank you to Sega, by the way, for sending us uh, an early review code. Yes, thank you. We are very, very lucky people. Absolutely. We are reviewing that. Uh, Hopefully it'll be out later this week. Yes, absolutely. Um, and I, I played it and straight away, I was, I was just 
it was like being a six-year-old again playing Sonic One, just mm-hmm. you know, rolling up in the Green Hill Zone and just experiencing it in its sixty frames per second glory. Mm. The animations are amazing as well, like so smooth. The animations are really amazing. They've really knocked it out of the park with it. I mean, this is the Sonic game that we've been waiting for. Yes, this, this is the this is what Sonic Four should have been. Like for sure. I mean, Sonic Four sucks. I hate Sonic Four. <laughs> I know you don't think it's that bad. It's, but I think mm, it sucks. It's not great. I mean, it's, yeah, yeah. For me, this is this is the best Sonic since Sonic Generations. Yeah, easily. Easily. Agreed. I mean, best Sonic since Sonic Three Knuckles. This is. <laughs> Ooh, really? Hmm. What about Sonic Generations, though? Generations is excellent. Yeah, I agree. Okay. But, I mean, this is, you know, undone all the bad work that some of these previous Sonic games have done. So, I mean, there's so much garbage. I mean, Jesus (laughs) Christ. Sonic 2006, terrible, awful. Bad. Um, Bad. Sonic Adventure is awesome. Sonic Adventure 2 is awesome. They're fine. Yep. Sonic Heroes, that Mm. sucks. Yeah, it wasn't great. Um, Sonic Unleashed, that kind of sucked too. Yeah, the speed seconds were fine, but the whole werewolf thing, just, yeah, garbage. Garbage. Um, what else have we got? Oh, I mean, Jesus, Sonic Boom, Sonic, Sonic the Lost Boom, Worlds. Sonic I mean, Boom. The, the list of terrible Sonic games goes on, and this has undone all of that bad work, and now everyone loves Sonic again. Yes, good. Well deserved. Now, so, keep the momentum going, please. Sega. The problem is here, I... Like we said, not ju- you know, just a few minutes ago, I think Sonic Forces is going to undo all of this good work. Uh, yeah, I mean, what they've shown up so far looks fine. I am a bit scared about the whole custom character thing. That's do we want to be going towards that side of the fan base, Sega? I know there's a lot of people like the OC stuff, but most people don't. <laughs> I don't know. I think what they've proved is that simplicity, as far as Sonic is concerned, is the best thing. Yes, absolutely. There are no bad Mario games. At least in this 3D sort of... No official, you know, the 3D. maybe on Nintendo, bad Mario games. Yes, agreed. Okay, yeah, we'll <laughs> go with that. No, no, you know, like Mario, Sun- Mario Sunshine, Galaxy. Yeah, yeah. You know, all of those games are just fucking phenomenal games. So good. And there is... You cannot say that about any of the Sonic games. I mean, Sonic Adventure's <laughs> good. Yeah. But it, it's, it's not... It hasn't aged as well it's as not super, Mario 64. No, no, no. Yeah. No, it's not, it's not aged as well as Mario 64. Sonic Adventure 2 doesn't play as well as um, Galaxy or Sunshine or anything like that. Sonic has just had a real tough time. Uh, I mean, we did a Sonic podcast a little while ago, didn't we? Uh, make Sonic oh, we great did. again. We did, yeah. And uh, they have done now. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> but I, I am very, very concerned about forces. Uh, yeah, me too. Uh, mm, mm, I'm scared. But hopefully it'll turn out right. Hopefully people will remember, remember Sonic Mania more. <laughs> I hope they'll, hopefully they'll make Sonic Mania 2 and everything will be right again with the world. I'm happy to sit on the fence until it comes out. Yeah, me too. I'll sit well and truly on the fence and just wait. Yes. Fingers crossed. Mm, bated breath. <laughs> yeah. And then when that when it comes out, you'll be back. We'll be back on the podcast. Yes, the sucks. Telling you, ah, telling you how bad it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. So Finn, Hello. Sonic aside, what else have you been playing? Um been playing oh been playing Hellblade. Um uh, it's an excellent. Probably oh, the best looking man, game. Isn't it just It's amazing. Uh really interesting just like story and just everything's everything's great about it. I really like it. Um Yeah, definitely. I do as well. I mean I put it on, I love that it's 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 really I mean, in even in the opening credits it says mental health advisor mm. and it's really dealing with this poor girl, Senua. Like, obviously, she's had it tough and all that sort of stuff. And, you know, she's now dealing with the repercussions of that as she goes into this big, so what what appears to be her final act. Yes. Potentially. Um, no spoilers, I haven't finished it myself. So Same. Um, that's, this is just what I'm assuming based on what I've played so far. Basically, it's best played with headphones on. Mm. Because yeah, then you can hear the voices in her head that are constantly going on. And it's just a very, very interesting mechanic to have. Uh, the sound is completely perfect. Oh, yeah. It's amazing. Uh, Red Bones is definitely the best way to experience it. Um, and it yeah, even sounds, tells you this right at the beginning of the it, game. It does, yeah. The sound's going all around you. It's like, it actually sounds like it's in your head. It's amazing. Mm. It um, really is amazing. The visuals are beautiful. Um, the, the combat is great. Yep, combat feels great. 
Uh, puzzles are really cool. Um, if, we mm. with, if we do have any single complaint, it's that they maybe overuse a certain type of puzzle a bit too much. Um, you don't want to have to like match the shape, shapes with the environment. Yeah, yeah. Um, they do that a lot, but it does start to get a bl- little bit tiresome because uh, they keep doing it over and over again. But it's fine. It, didn't, it never outstays it welcome. No, um, and I think also with the added... It's an easy platinum. It is, that's true. You literally play through the game and you look for the collectibles which come in the form of... They're like these stone things. Yeah, like little and it's, it's It's basically like audio logs, essentially. Yeah. That's, that's exactly what it is. Pretty much. And um, you pretty much... They're easy to find, uh, for the most part, at least. And it tells you... Bas- you, you know how many there's going to be in that section because... The audio logs are sort of separated. Uh, yeah, you'll yeah, know what I mean if you play it, but they're in like a circle dots, yeah. and they're separated by dots. So pretty much, you know, if you've missed one, that you need to go back to that certain area and find it. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, that's not really a ball ache because you get to experience and look at just the beautiful, all the beautiful environments that this game has going for it. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think it's a very special game that is going to fly under the radar a little bit. Yeah, like, I didn't even know this game was coming out until we talked about it on the podcast. <laughs> like, oh, okay, maybe by the same guys made um, uh, Heavenly Sword. That's awesome. I'll set that out, and yeah, it's amazing. I'm glad I did. It's Ninja <laughs> Theory, isn't it? Yeah, that's guys. Ninja yeah, theory. I said Team Ninja last time, so I apologise for that. That was a mistake. But, yeah, uh, oh, oh, no, two, all the ninjas. <laughs> all the ninjas. All the ninjas. But so this game is really special, so if you've not played it, um, you really, really should look it up, because it's uh, it's a very, very special game. Yes, excellent. What else have you been playing, Finn? Uh, what else? Um, back on Persona 5, which is still excellent. Um, yeah, it's great. It's more Persona, more good. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've got to the next part of the story, which is kind of a spoiler, so I won't mention it. But okay. uh, yeah, I'm going to get, get my next party member on the go, which is good. Mm, excellent just, stuff. <laughs> yes. I really need to carry on playing it, but I just... It's so good. I just don't have time. It's, it's a very long game. I need about six months off work to be able to <laughs> sort of just catch up and play everything that I've got to play. Yeah. And then I'll yeah, go that's... back to work and we'll just rebuild the backlog again. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Same here. So guys, if you just if you want to just give us loads of money to do this in Daydreamer, That'd be great. then we'll be able to get through. Yeah. But... And everything will be fine again. Absolutely. Just pay for all the money and we'll be good. Thanks. Yeah, and you, you, you'll get even more of us as well. <laughs> exactly. Who doesn't want that? Yeah, exactly. Who, who really want this face? Exactly. <laughs> uh, good times. <laughs> and uh, always good times. Yeah, <laughs> always. And that's pretty much it as far as uh, game is concerned. Um, lots of Sonic, Persona, and Hellblade. How about you? To be honest, I haven't really, really been playing a lot because since we last uh, did the podcast, well, I know that was two weeks ago, but um, we were going to do it last Wednesday, then didn't because just life and time and stuff so yeah uh, so <laughs> pretty much spent the week i spent the weekend in valencia nice uh came back on the sunday was just completely shattered mm-hmm. uh monday uh, i played hellblade for quite a long time uh, it's excellent played sonic uh been playing some of the uh batman telltale season mm-hmm. two batman Batman. I've pretty much finished episode one of season two uh, i've been playing it in little parts because again time is just seemingly not on my side at the minute. I just seem to be so busy all the time Talk about with it. different <laughs> stuff. But uh, I've nearly finished that. I'll probably polish that off tonight once we've done this. But uh, it's excellent again. Uh, the voice acting is phenomenal, uh, as it always is. Uh, Telltale have seemingly um, thrown a couple of new mechanics in there. Ooh. And a couple of little new animations. They're still using the same engine. Don't be fooled. Yeah, because, it's, still, it's still buggy as hell. But They love that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It isn't that bad. It's getting better? So far. Uh, fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't sort of uh, fuck up on me. But um, it's great. So I'm really excited. I's so happy that um, you know season two's come around so quick because uh, that's one of my favorite Telltale uh, series for sure. Uh, but that, to be honest, is pretty much it. But again, mainly down to time. I did try the NBA Live 18 basketball demo. Oh, yeah. Which is the EA Sports one. Oh yeah, um, they had they they've had a year, <laughs> they've had a year off. Oh, that's right, yeah, they didn't do one last year, did they? So they, they they were doing it, but it it just they just seemingly couldn't get it out. Hmm. Uh, so they didn't bother. Uh, they had they took a year off and they 
brought this new one out or bringing this new one out four days before 2K bring theirs out, which to me seems baffling, but yeah. that's fine. Uh, but I played the demo, and surprisingly, it is actually very good. Okay. Uh, so they've gone away. They've clearly figured out what was wrong and gone back and fixed it, basically. Yeah, so I wish they did that with the uh, WWE games. Just take a year yeah. off, make everything better. Yeah. <laughs> we could just play Fire Pro in that year, but it's fine. We exactly, don't need the yeah. WWE game. Exactly. Yeah. But, I mean, don't get me wrong, there's still very much an EA sports sim. Hmm. And you can tell it just by playing it. So it's a little bit rough around the edges and it's not perfect, but it is an improvement. Now, it won't be enough to topple the juggernaut that is 2K. Not of a chance. People because that game games. is in the charts all year. Yeah, it's like FIFA and Minecraft. It, it, ne- it never leaves. And Call of Duty. Yeah, it never leaves. It's like it, it's, it's the best sports game you can buy. NBA yeah. 2K is the best sports game you can buy. And I play Pro, um, Pro Evo, I play FIFA, but hands down... NBA 2K is the best sports game you can buy. I praise. <laughs> and I, I just... To be honest, if I was EA, I would save that fucking money and not bother making that game. <laughs> yeah. But this year's is an improvement. Uh, I will probably play the full game uh, when it hits EA Access uh, and I can play the 10-hour trial and I'll report back then to sort of tell you how it is. Well, but um, like 10 hours is all you need. Something like that. Yeah, I, 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 th- I think so. I mean, uh, I will play a lot more of 2K than 10 hours. Oh, yeah, but of course. <laughs> I think 10 hours is enough to for me to be able to give uh, a good impression on NBA Live 18. Awesome. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I am going to try and catch you up. I'm going to start Bioshock. I'm going to start a new series on Daydreamer of Bioshock. Nice. Now that um, Sonic Mania Hype Week is finished. Hope. I would very much like us to pick up our playthrough of Diablo 3. Yes, definitely. And I've got a few of the bits that I want to play, so... Um, we need to do a... Yeah, I, I, I say, we need to do a sports bar again. That's yes, we one. absolutely need to do sports bar again, for sure. And that's another thing, I've got loads of VR games to play as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I'm going to try and manage my time better. That's what I need to do. Yes, me too. But I need, so I'll, I'll figure that out. Um, I'll get back to proper decent gaming at some point. What I need to do is stop playing so much bloody Forza Horizon. <laughs> oh yeah, still, still going. Yeah. Still going. Like it's crazy because like, I, I go to my Xbox now for peace. Yeah. Cause when I go on my PS4, it's weird. It must be people from streams and stuff. I just get friend requests and messages all the time. Oh really? Weird. Yeah. Loads. <laughs> I get it all the time. It's ridiculous. <laughs> um don't get me wrong, guys. I'm happy for you to add me on uh, PlayStation. <laughs> but if I don't respond, it's because I'm on my Xbox chilling and enjoy, <laughs> enjoying my gaming time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, guys, I appreciate you and I'm happy for the friend requests and all that sort of stuff. But, yeah, I go to my Xbox for, for, for a bit of peace and quiet and I just put my headphones on. Uh, I play Forza and just lose myself for hours. Nice. And Sounds I, uh, good. The over 100-hour time that I've played Forza Horizon 2 will tell you that. <laughs> Nice. I'm doing that with yeah, the Persona a lot uh, recently. Just, yeah, just losing myself with uh, it. And it's not nice, nice chill game. For sure. Chill gaming. I like it. Yeah. Finn. Hello. <laughs> SummerSlam is this coming Sunday? It sure is. All 15 hours of it. Uh, all 15 hours of SummerSlam. <laughs> uh, of course, we're going to be doing our predictions, but mm. this was an eventful week in wrestling, wasn't it? It was, actually, yeah. Stuff happened. Stuff did happen. I was very, very surprised. We, we got a good episode of Raw, hmm. an okay episode of SmackDown, hmm. but we had newsworthy things. Yeah, we did. Um, yeah, another week beforehand, which where nothing happened pretty much. Uh, this week mm. was actually, yeah, good. Um, so yeah, started out, so we started with Raw, obviously. Um, started out with Dean Ambrose calling out uh, Seth Rollins. Uh, Seth Rollins came down, burn it down! Jesus Christ, what was that? Oh, that's right, <laughs> it's just, it's just his entrance team. It's bad, isn't it? It's, it's so, so bad. bad. It's so... Why, why, it's, why, why? Just keep the gap. Just it, keep the gap. We yeah. don't need Burn It Down. We don't. We don't, we don't like, need it. Nobody needs it. It's just ridiculous. It's like, oh, he's got it on a t-shirt. Let's just... Burn it down! <laughs> dun, 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 dun. It's like, fuck! We don't need that. <laughs> it's, uh, oh, I don't know what it is with Venture Teams recently, but... They've gone downhill. Oh, I don't know. I've seen some brilliant memes uh, oh, yeah. because of Burn It Down. Oh, really? 
Nice. Yeah, just like people like messing up Roman Reigns' face, like just pulling, like making it swirly. Oh, yeah. like, this is what happens when everybody hears burn it down. <laughs> 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 Stuff like that. Um, the the internet wrestling community has been brilliant, it must be said. But nice. uh, yeah, I, I don't like it. I think it's utter bullshit. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. But the segment was okay. Um, so the last couple of weeks, I've been teasing a, uh, Dean and Seth getting back together. Um, so Dean goes with a fist bump, uh, it was denied. Uh, Seth goes with a fist bump, and it was denied. It was like a little bit of scuffle. And then, so I loved a, that, by the way. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Uh, I love that little brawl they had. It was great. Yeah. And then uh, Cesaro and Sheamus came down to uh, beat him up, but they were fought off. And then in the excitement, they did a fist bump, and everyone cheered, and everyone's, everyone's happy. Because the Shield got back together. Yeah. Except he said, "Yeah, everyone loves all, the shield. All, all two members of the shield. You remember the, all two of them? Uh, yeah, the one, there was no, only two of them. Ever. Yeah, I'm no sure there was only two. Called. Yeah, there's no one else was. was in the, yeah, the, no, 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 just just two. Yeah, yeah, they were a really good tag team. Really they good were. tag team. Yeah, great tag team. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Yeah. Uh, have then, you know, um, this week wrestling crowds were great. By the way, they were actually. Yeah, they're Boston, didn't say. Yeah, they were excited. They were they, yeah. they were excitable. Yeah, they were good. I liked it. Um, yeah, me too. Happy days. Makes a change as well. It did actually. Yeah. Uh, so Kurt comes down and makes a match for SummerSlam. It's of course going to be uh, Sajar and Sheamus versus Dean and Seth for the tag team titles, which is all... Didn't see it coming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's shocking, I know. Yeah, it's really weird, but um, I'm, I'm fine with it. I, I really am fine with it. Uh, I've grown... I've really, really warmed to Cesaro and Sheamus mm, like as not. a tag team now. Yeah. It's taken me a little while, uh, I have to be honest. I'm just, I am just wasn't into the end. I still think Cesaro needs to drop that garbage entrance. <laughs> it's a bit weird. Oh, did sort of walking them. in from the side. Yeah, did he um, the week before, how he messed it up a little bit. He like forgot he's supposed <laughs> to come in from the side. He like you know, ran in and then started walking in. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's time funny. to drop that because obviously they were doing it when they were doing that whole James Bond thing, but it just doesn't fit anymore with the character. It's like... Yeah, well, they're, they're wearing skirts, leather jackets, and sunglasses now. They don't. <laughs> it's a weird mix. He's not wearing. He's not ripping a suit off anymore. It's not like doing the James Bond thing. So now it just looks. It looks rubbish. It, yeah. it, to be quite frank, it looks. Speaking it of looks engine, really stupid. So they should yeah. probably stop that. Speaking of engine teams, Cesaro definitely needs a new one. Because um, that Cesaro didn't need to change his old one. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, his old one's great. Mm. Um, but yeah, so uh, then we had uh, Nia Banks versus Sasha Banks to decide who it's going to be wait, facing. Yeah. Wait, who? Nia Banks? I'm sorry, Nia Jax versus Sasha Banks. There we go. Um, Nia Banks versus uh, Sasha Jax, Jax, which yeah. is not easy to say. Sasha Jax, um, yeah. <laughs> Sasha, Sasha Jax. Yeah. Like Snacker Jax. Snacker Jax, there you go. I, in fact, I think Sasha Jax is the Aldi version of <laughs> uh, Snacker Jax. I think it might be, yeah, yeah. I, I think it. it absolutely is, yeah. It, and, it was uh, not, it should be. Yeah, absolutely. It, def- and it definitely should be. Aldi, come at us. <laughs> yeah, come at us, Aldi. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll make stuff for you. <laughs> yeah, we'll market them every week. Oh, of course. Just pay us. Pay us that, yeah, just just pay us that money. Yeah, just give us money. That'd be fine. Yeah, cut out yeah. the money, man. Just give us money. Uh, we'll do anything for money. We're not, we're not anything. Yeah, we'll, not we'll, anything. Well, yeah. Most we'll, we'll, we'll draw the line at 69s. Hey, did it. 69. Got it okay. in there. <laughs> so, uh, unfortunately, Bailey was legitimately <laughs> injured last week uh, on Raw. Yeah. Uh, with a shoulder. So uh, this match will decide who's going to be taking a place at SummerSlam. And um, obviously, Shasta was going to win. He was of obvious. course, yeah. <laughs> they weren't going to have Nice Axe versus um, Alexa. And uh, yeah, Shasta won with uh, the old um, Shasta, uh, bank statement. Shasta bank statement. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it was alright, actually. Yeah, it was surprisingly decent. And, uh, it was okay. I mean, yeah, I mean okay. you know, you had the usual sort of Nia Jax, Samoan drop type offense and. <laughs> We love some own drops here on the Games and Grass podcast. It's the most devastating move in wrestling that everyone does. It absolutely is, yeah. Especially yeah. if you do it on the hardest part of the ring. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. That's, that's, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, so that was fine. And Alexa was like watching from like a throne at the ringside. It was cool. Um, that was cool, yeah. I love Alexa Bliss so much. Yeah, she's great. Uh, she's I pretty. want her reign as women's champion to go on probably forever. Yep, I'd be okay with that. I would be <laughs> absolutely okay with that. Um yeah, I'm fine with it. I mean, this was, it was an okay match. Um, to be honest, I read an article actually um, just the other day about uh, about Nia Jax. Oh, yeah. Basically, what her, what, her, what her role is in the women's division. She's there to be large. Oh, the most yeah, dominant so woman in the world. She's the, uh, she's the <laughs> Vin, apparently this is from what Vince McMahon said to her, that she was the female Andre the Giant. <laughs> right, okay. I'm not sure that's nice. a flattering statement. Yeah, I'm going to say, that's not a nice thing to say to a lady, is it? 
I don't <laughs> think it is. No, I don't think it's a great thing to say to a lady. But hey, Vince pays your wages. That's Do true. It. Just he, take it. Think he's only once. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. He can, he can be terrible to you <laughs> at work, <laughs> yeah, and you, uh, you just have to take it because he pays your wages. Yep, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Oh yeah. So uh, basically, he was, you know, bigging her up, saying, you know, oh, the women are going to have to chop you down, and words to that effect. But if she's supposed to be the monster of the women's division, they're not doing a great job because she loses a lot. Yeah, she does. She yep. might, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. to tiny little people like Sasha Banks. And yeah. Like that, so it's weird. But hey, wrestling, wrestling, wrestling. Um, so then we had uh, Finn Balor and Ray Wyatt fighting backstage. Oh snap! Um, so the match was supposed to do tonight because fuck SummerSlam. <laughs> yeah, we just want to give our matches away for free. Yeah. Uh, yeah. After that, we had uh, Elias, not Samson, singing in the ring uh, as he does. Great T-shirt, by the way. Oh, he does actually. Yeah, yeah, that's a cool one. Yeah, it's a really cool T-shirt. It's like uh, Elias, a world tour. Oh, yeah. Actually, they, they, you know, they obviously couldn't fit his surname on the T-shirt, and that's why they got rid of it. Ah, uh, makes sense. Of course. What is the fucking problem with people having surnames? I don't know. Oh, is that like surnames it's or strange, isn't names? it? Is there? Because, uh, I don't know. It's weird. The big cat, yeah, like uh, Colin Cassidy. Nope. Colin Cassidy, Neville. Neville, yep. I'm pretty certain we've had this same conversation Pretty about like ten it. times. It's probably, but yeah, it's still weird. What's up? It's What's still up weird. I just don't get it. It just it keeps happening as well. It's not like it's uh, <laughs> it's not like it's like oh a, an occasional thing that happens. It just happens all the time. Yeah, it does. So like if you if you had a surname in NXT, you come up to the main roster and your surname or first name is just gone potentially. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Either way, Elias Samson. When Michael Cole kept calling him Elias Samson, by the way, as well. Oh, did he? I didn't even notice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Because cool. obviously he did his he did his funny song slating the people of. Boston. Yeah. Which is always very funny, and I've grown to like Elias as well now. You do. Our truth comes down for no reason. Just, because, just, to, make, just to make things worse. Yeah, it comes down <laughs> because <laughs> there's a pre so match to be had somewhere in the future. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, did his rapping and all that crap. So Elias Samson just beat him up. Yep, and that was good. Thanks, Elias. Well done. And that's when Mike, that's when Michael Cole kept saying Elias Sampson. Corey Graves and Booker T just kept saying Elias, but Michael Cole kept going, Elias Sampson, Elias S- Sampson. It's like, are you fucking stupid or something? <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, like, come on. Meanwhile, like, Midget, Midget Man is shouting in his ear, shut up, Michael. <laughs> yeah. Say it right. Sampson's yeah. not allowed anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's honestly, Vincent Mann's got a headset on in the back and he's like completely red. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's not Sampson, damn it. And he keeps <laughs> name Michael Cole going, Elias Sampson. No! <laughs> Vince McMahon's just doing his nut backstage. But either way, yeah, Elias Samson, he, do, he does nothing seemingly, and it's it seems to have major major heat with the crowd, and it's great. So Yeah, good stuff. Yeah. Uh, speaking of major heat with the crowd, Big Gas and his terrible generic job music uh, came out next. Uh, trying to say stuff, but I was constantly getting interrupted by uh, the crowd booing him, mm-hmm. which is, yep, good. I think, is a good thing. Because it's a heel, I th- but also I'm not sure think it's a good thing. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's, it's they're booing his his character or just the fact that he's not very good. I think <laughs> they're booing his shit music. Maybe, yeah, maybe it's that. It is terrible. That's probably the worst music that we've got at the minute. Big ass. It is bad, yeah. It's like it's the most unbelievably generic entrance music of all time. Yeah. So somebody's supposed to be getting That's... like a big push on the like the main roster, maybe like the main event potentially. It's it's just bad music. Why? It's awful. Yeah, I, it's, it's, it, I agree with you. It's the worst. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so they had that uh, stupid cage that they're going to have at SummerSlam with Enzo in it. Um, hashtag buy our toys. Hashtag buy our toys. Uh, mm. Big Show Big Show came down. Stuff happened. I skipped a lot of it, to be honest. Um, they tra- yeah, I'm bored of it now. Yeah, I'm bored of it. They trapped Big Show's hand in a cage and like, broke his hand or something. I don't care. And also, yeah, they also they ropes in the club like... Um, Gals and Anderson, for some reason, poor guys. Mm. I don't know if I mean are they? Are they are this going to be a thing now? A big is big cast going to hang out with the club, and mm. that's going to be a thing. I hope not. <laughs> I read. Um, I've done a lot of reading. Obviously, it would appear um, that really Enzo good. is going to turn on Big Show and go with Big Cass. <laughs> that would be really now, stupid. If, the, if they U turn on Enzo and Ka- uh, on and turn Enzo heel. It just shows that they don't know what to do with Enzo, other yeah, than seriously. having him with Big Cass. 
Yeah, that'd be a weird one. People like Enzo. People like one of. I mean, uh, Enzo is like one of the most popular guys there at the minute for whatever reason. Um, I think and I think Big Cass had a bit of a dig um, during his promo. Oh yeah, because I don't I don't know if you read a lot of the stories about Enzo not being very well liked backstage. I've heard it. Yeah, about the, um, the heat and he. Yeah, Big Cass was like, oh, he's pissing people off in the back, which is seemingly every day at the minute. I was oh, like, I didn't hear. I'm just get that uh, out. <laughs> yeah, he said he said that. And I was like, oh, a bit of Ooh. bit of real life in here. This is. This is interesting. Yeah, um, good, but yeah, I don't, I don't care for Big Cass versus Big Show. I don't. Ah, same. I, I need... care even less for an Enzo Amore heel turn. Uh, I mean, some of his mic work would be great, but True. Um, I don't care for it. I think it sucks. Um, yeah, I pff, buy our toys. Hashtag buy our toys. Yeah, buy our toys. Spark cage thing. Yeah. yeah. They, they, yeah. That, this is like what's this the third time they've wheeled out the shark cage. Yeah, uh, I think it is. Yeah, I had it once with uh, all the pain with um, Ellering Paul Ellering in the shark cage. Yeah, and then they had Jericho in the shark cage. Oh yeah, of course. And now, uh, and now Enzo. Enzo. <laughs> Dumb. God, it really is hashtag buy our toys, isn't it? It really is. Oh, sales, Jesus. sales are going, sales are going down on our toys. Make doing the match quick. Yeah, the may, may the kids realize that this really is a thing that happens in wrestling. They have <laughs> shark cages. Yeah, make them yeah. believe this is real. Okay, <laughs> real life. It, we, we promise we do have shark cages. We've not just made toys and... Uh. <laughs> oh dear. God's sake. So we had um, Akira Tozawa. <laughs> first example, I'm trying to skip over it because... Uh, <laughs> Akira Tozawa versus Neville for the Gridway title because fuck SummerSlam. Um, yeah. <laughs> and, and because SummerSlam... Come, they, they, they kept saying SummerSlam comes early. Yeah, it does. Cause it don't, they kept don't saying want, it. We don't want you to watch SummerSlam, so have it now. It's yeah. the message I got. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it was actually a really good match. Um, it was very good, yeah. Uh, never, never went for the red arrow. Uh, misses, and Tazawa went on the top rope here. Sent big sent on and won. He was a new champion. Unbelievable. Cool. Yeah, didn't see that coming. It's like an eight month reign from Neville. Mm, nope. Come to an end. I'm, I'm amazed they dropped it on Raw. Yeah, me too. Uh, I've no doubt that a rematch on SummerSlam. Um, be on the yeah, be on the pre-show. Yeah, maybe. It, is a, it did, yeah. shouldn't be, but it will be. Probably. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, so I mean, this is a really interesting one. I don't understand why they dropped it on Raw. I yeah. don't know if it's because Raw has been largely uninteresting for the last few weeks. Maybe. Uh, apart from sort of the main event scene stuff, which has been pretty cool. But um, I don't know, it was refreshing. It was exciting. It, you know, um, the match itself was great. And, it, you know, the crowd did sort of were into it, seemingly. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it was good. Yes, I enjoyed it. Stuff. I like that Tazawa won it. And it's cool because I don't see who else in the Cruiserweight division can actually challenge at the minute. So for me, yes. uh, the fact that this Neville Tazawa feud can keep going for a little while is fine with me. Yeah. Um, maybe, maybe they'll mix up the Cruiserweight division a bit because right now on Tour of Live, it's a lot of the same faces again and again. Uh, but we haven't, we haven't seen Grand Matalik in forever. Like, what's he doing? You know, I know he's still there. We saw him up and down there like a little while ago. So he, he's, he's still alive. <laughs> let let map matches. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, there's a lot of these. I mean, a lot of really talented guys were signed off the back of the CWC. Yeah. And you know that's what made us all excited for 205 Live, but 205 Live hasn't delivered that same excitement that the CWC had. Exactly. Give, give it a bit of mix up. Put, um, put, put Neville on the on the like main roster again, maybe because his heel turn has been excellent. Doing great work. I think he certainly stand up, stand with like guys like Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, guys like that. Um, what would you do? Would you have him go for like a mid card title, like the IC title or something? Yeah, I think so. I think that could work. I think, I think he's earned it. I think he's earned team, that sort of recognition. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, he's still yeah. super good. Yeah, he's been awesome. He's been unbelievable. He really has. Yeah. Um, so that's cool. Um, then we had uh, Finn Balor versus Bray Wyatt, um, which was a good match, if not a little short. Uh, Bray Wyatt won out of nowhere with um, Sister Abigail. I think I was looking down at my phone or something and looked up and Bray Wyatt had won. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> that happened. Um, yeah. And Bray is winning matches still, which is good. Yay. Yes, and, uh, absolutely, which is awesome. Uh, yeah. I still don't like that they gave this match away. Yeah, I did a rematch on SummerSlam again, as, as uh, goes, of course. Um, because fuck SummerSlam and <laughs> SummerSlam has come early. Yeah, of course. Um, so after the match, Bray Wyatt hit another Sister Abigail. Whoops, microphone. Um, and then he had the like white spookiness. Everything went black. Uh, lights came back up. Films in the corner, and Bray Wyatt was holding a bucket full of uh, jam. 
It was definitely jam and nothing yeah. else. And then he pulled the Yep, bench. nothing else. It was yeah. definitely jam. Or they'd been to the costume shop and bought lots of capsules of vampire yeah. fake blood. Blood? No, I can't and No. <laughs> must must I be jam. Was, you think it was jam? It, it was definitely jam. They can't they can't show blood on TV. Oh, this isn't the this isn't the attitude era. This is PG. But it's okay when it's fake it's okay when it's fake blood, isn't it? I don't know there. It's America. <laughs> American, American. American logic. Um, so yeah, he bought, he pulled the. Uh, Either way, it was it was weird. It was, it was weird. He pulled the red jam all over all over Finn. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put a bank partner in here saying it's funny how they're not allowed to show actual blood, but they can show big thick red liquid which looks just like blood, and it's obviously meant to represent blood, just fine. America. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, that, you know that's a very good point actually. Yeah. Definitely must have been jam. Must have been jam. Yeah, of course. Definitely jam, yeah. <laughs> of course, why? Yeah, based on that logic, why would it be anything else other than jam? Of course. <laughs> Still, we had um, a pretty pointless match between Emma and Mickey James. Um, yeah, I skipped it. Yeah, Mi- Mi- point. exactly. Mickey James won with like the world's slowest kick, and that was it. It's like, oh, okay, that was pointless. I think they, I think they may be punishing Emma. You think so? Because of the whole Emma I think thing. So. Thing? Not so much that. I think it's. I mean, she was. Uh, she was. Been a little bit outspoken on Twitter recently about yeah. her lack of appearances on Raw. Oh, I see. Uh, and I think because of her gobshiteness, <laughs> they've uh, they're, they're sort of just having her lose matches week in week out. Yeah, it's it's like I don't know. I like Emma. I know she can wrestle, but it's like recently she's just like not been trying as hard. It's like she knows she's not going anywhere. So it's just like the mother, which is a shame because. Mm. No, I, I really like Emma as well. I mean, the whole Emmelina thing was just very strange. Yeah. And I think um, that maybe slowed any momentum that she maybe could have had. Yeah, I think so. It's a real shame. Great music still. But it's a, it is a real shame because Emma's a very, very talented, uh, very, very talented young lady. But yeah. it's something isn't right there. Yeah. Something's they off. either don't rate her as a wrestler or whatever. But... I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. I really don't. I, I, yeah, I don't. Yeah, weird one. Same with Mickey James. What's Mickey James doing? Yeah, exactly. It's just nothing. They brought her back all the time and then just went nowhere. Still, so just... we've gone back to this thing now in the women's division where it's like, it's like a, it's, it's centered around a few people. Yeah, it's like Sasha Banks, Bailey, um, Nia Jax, and, and Nia Jax. Yeah, yeah, and no or, one else. Or, but when you have or Nia Banks, yeah, Nia Banks. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, but where but you you know you have got Emma, you have got Mickey who you can who you can bring in. Um, I saw uh, a, a somebody had filmed like a brief thing with Paige just the other day, oh, yeah. and uh, she was asked when she was coming back, and she said, "Hopefully, a couple of months. I'm just waiting to be cleared by WWE." Hmm. Are you though? Whether this comes to the fruition or not, and she's just saying that, knowing full well that she's Doesn't probably going to be given her marching orders. Uh, saying that though, she was announced for the for WWE 2K18. She's one of the names on the list, so uh, that's weird. Mm. Maybe it's getting one there as a club because it's all uh, under contract. So technically, just they can they can do that. Shrug. Man, there's like, so much negativity about Paige. <laughs> yeah, there is so much. Like I, I see it all the time. Like oh, Paige and Alberto Del Rio have an argument backstage at GFW, and that's why places are. A, Afraid to book Alberto because the problems that he brings and yeah. he's, he's know, just stripped, uh, stripped up his uh, yeah he just stripped up his title didn't he um, Del Rio or yeah. Del Albertron whatever his name is now from uh, GFW yeah. and slash TNA slash Impact what do you call him slash garbage um, <laughs> yeah I, I I don't know I I I'd like Paige to come back and really make a good run of it because she's so young and she's so talented that you know it could absolutely work for her yeah. I, I don't know how many more chances a person can be given. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm just... Uh, <sighs> I was looking at my notes. Um, so I've written down Mr. Raj. I've just it's got like a red squeak line underneath it because obviously Mr. Raj isn't a word. I right clicked on it and the... Uh, did you mean miscarriage? And so like, <laughs> no, Google. I didn't mean miscarriage. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, it knows. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Wow. Uh, I mean, it's not funny, but, but yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of funny. 
if, oh my God. in my opinion, um, the women's division could do with somebody like Paige to, <clears throat> well, at least give it an extra person for a start to focus yes. on. But um, Paige is very good. She's a very good wrestler. He just, uh, just has problems right now and she needs to deal with them. Understatement <laughs> of the year, Finn. Yes, Understatement exactly. of the year. Yes. And it, and Please the get rid of Paige. Yeah. And, and the, the problem's, get the rid problem, of that idiot. Yeah, the problem's name is Del Rio. <laughs> it most certainly is that's yeah. why he's gone from WWE exactly and almost everywhere else it would appear yep right anyway next next so then we had uh, The Miz versus Jason Jordan and the his Miz. music um, he was still getting booed people don't like Jason Jordan yeah no he's, he's the he was the least likable out of the two <laughs> he was yeah he didn't he's just like a generic baby face right now he needs he needs more to him he looks like an all-American hero. That's why people hate him. People don't like exactly. that shit. Yeah, yeah. Well, to be fair, it, worked, it would, did eventually work with Kurt Angle, so maybe. But I think that's what they're trying to do, but I don't think it's going to work. Lightning can't strike twice. No, I don't think it's going to work either. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, he's a great wrestler. He really is. Yeah, he's great. Talented guy. Very talented young man. But his music is fucking terrible, so they're probably yeah. booing that. Like yeah, probably. yeah, his music is so bad. Stop uh, making crap music. <laughs> like he was walking down to the ring this week and out loud whilst watching it on my own, I was like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, I know. Because I didn't watch Raw last week. I've not watched Raw in fact, I've not watched Raw for a couple of weeks. Don't but then like, I hear this music and I'm just thinking, what the hell is going on here? This is, yeah, what is it's this noise? It's like having a oh, joke music. backstage or something. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, the match never really happened. Um, the miscarriage, well, the miscarriage interrupted, interfered. Um, but then the Hardys came down to make the save for some reason, because I guess they're friends now. And uh, yeah, the match Sure. So they had the Jason Short and the Hardys yeah. versus the Miz. <laughs> yeah, the Mattitude. And then uh, all of a sudden it cuts to a break. Guess what happened after the break? Match happened. That's right. <laughs> yeah, tag team match. Six man tag, because of course, right? Of course. And uh, it was fine. Good guys won. Obviously. It was fine. Yeah, it was fine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't like the Mr. Raj at all. I, I think it's kind of funny in a like, I want to sort of way. I mean, what, what, what does Bo Dallas look like? <laughs> I know. It's, I think I think that's the idea. I think he's supposed to look dumb. Dumb. I think. I hope. It's like one okay. glove. It's like the jack, mean, weird jacket. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't like it. I think it sucks. And Curtis Axel, them leather pants that he was wearing this week, <laughs> not flattering at all. Awful. Oh. Yeah, not great. No, they were terrible. And they must have been awful and he must have stunk afterwards. <laughs> Probably. Uh, his 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 lower region I must have been extremely sweaty. Must have been, yeah. Not not nice. It's almost like Natalia when she's finished. Oh <laughs> god. Uh well, Natalia. Her balls would have been sweaty as well. They would have been, yeah. Sweaty balls. Sweaty balls Natalia. Yeah. Hashtag. Sweaty balls Natalia. <laughs> Bad times. Oh, um I d- I don't know what's happening with the Miz at the minute. It just seems to have dropped off a little. He has a bit. Um, momentum doesn't seem to be with him. He's been chucked into this storyline with Kurt Angle's son. Fuck's sake! Mm. And I don't know. It just doesn't seem to be uh, the momentum behind the Miz. Just seems to have stopped a little bit. As a bit, yeah. I'm, yeah. I don't know where he goes from here. I don't think John's going to win the belt of him. Um, would be too soon. I do. I care. Really? Mm. I do. Yeah. I think they're going to do that kind of push, like a championship straight away. Like, hope yep. everyone cheers for him eventually. <laughs> yep. Well, that's exactly what, I think that's what it is. They're going to be just trying to force him on people. Yeah. And because of that, people will turn on him. Or, you know, like Roman Reigns, they try to force yeah. him on us. People turn on him straight away. Yeah, they don't know, do they? They're just, they're just, people, it's like Cena. They force him on us, people fucking hate him. <laughs> yeah. Or Cena. Like, we will cheer for the people that you don't want us to cheer for. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but it's, it's, it's that sort of... Exactly, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, you know, it's it's that sort of thing with the crowd these days. Like, wrestling fans aren't stupid anymore. Yeah. They don't need... that. You know, they can pick their own heroes. They don't need to be force-fed them. Exactly. It's, uh, like... like it, go on. Sorry, at the end of the SmackDown this week, it's like... You cut to the crowd, it's like just a woman just giving seen in the middle finger, the right in his face. It's like, <laughs> yeah, well, that kind of sums it up. <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, people don't like Cena. They don't. I like Cena. I mean, 
Some people do, also do, do, need do. to be learn to behave themselves when they go places. They do. <laughs> I mean, she, she, Cena actually tweeted that picture out earlier on. <laughs> really? It's <laughs> awesome. Yeah. There's something uh, to do with like rise above hate or something like that. But uh, basically, he so he'd taken a picture with the TV and like woman sticking uh, the middle finger right in his face, literally right in his face, uh, while he was grinning ear to ear <laughs> at Jinder Mahal failing. No, no, at Baron Corbin failing uh, with his money in the bank cash in. Yes. And she's the middle finger's right there in Mr. Cena's face. <laughs> uh, stay classy. Wrestling fans. Yeah, stay classy, wrestling fans. Keep wearing them Bullet Club shirts and marking out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. So then uh, the main event, well, not really the main event, but the uh, main part of all, the last part, uh, you had Brock, Braun, Shmojo, and Roman, and they like a face off. Uh, Paul Heyman's talked about uh, Shmojo came down. Braun Strowman came down. Oh, I'm gonna win. Uh, <laughs> then like, look, then Roman came down. It all kicked off. Roman speared Joe straight away. Then Braun grabs Roman, power slammed him, and then like Brock and Braun had a face off. And like security broke him up. And then they killed the security. Rip. And then uh, the, like, guys, <laughs> guys in the back came down and broke them all up. And it was cool. I liked it. it was, yeah, it was very cool. I've really enjoyed the build to the SummerSlam main event. Um, and I'm really excited for the match itself. Hmm. It seems like a very old school type match for big guys yeah but four big muscly guys four big muscly sweaty guys <laughs> yeah. gonna go at it for the big heavyweight championship yeah it's a dream come true with Vince McMahon it certainly is it <laughs> most certainly is yeah. but you know what it's been good Paul Heyman has been excellent and Samoa Joe has been excellent yep uh, the rivalry between uh, Braun Strowman and Roman Reigns has been great as well yeah it's so, been good you know it it all builds to what I think is going to be a very, very good match and what I hope is going to be a very, very good match at the least. Yeah, I'm sure it will. I have faith. Yeah, for sure. But um, yeah, good episode of Raw this week. Um, it was cool that Tozawa won, so they mm. give us something to... Well, I mean, I'm all for unpredictability and nobody saw that coming, so yeah, that was exactly. cool. Uh, some cool. good segments to lead into the matches at SummerSlam. So all in all, good episode of Raw this week. Yes. Solid B+. Plus. For me. Solid B plus, yeah. yeah. Absolutely B. Big, big, B plus. Big, big B plus. Uh, so we had... Magic, magic, E. <laughs> magic, 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 B. B. <laughs> so, so That's old down. school. If you if you Very listen to this and uh, you know what that is, you're old as fuck. Like you're we old. Are. Well done. <laughs> Congratulations on being old. Yeah. So it's Smackdown. You don't know what it is? Google it. Google it, yeah. <laughs> um, so it's Smackdown. Um... It was Indian Indian Independence Day, according to Jim Hall, who uh, celebrated with music and had like the Indian national anthem and whatnot. Uh, you say according to Jim Hall, I don't think WWE are going to make that up because Probably you not, can yeah. easily Google it. <laughs> it's, it's true, yeah. I'm sure it was. Is it really Indian Independence Day or is this a <laughs> WWE thing? Yes. I'm going to Google it. I think it was. I think it was Indian, Indian Independence Day. You probably right. They and, had like, uh, this big, massive celebration, which I'm sure the crowd loved, by the way. <laughs> yeah. It was good to hear stuff. It's like... People hate it, and that's good because they do heal, and they're supposed to hate it. Yeah, uh, sure. Yeah. I, to be honest, I quite enjoy. I, I I don't mind Jinder as the champion. I really don't. Yeah, I think it's fine. I think he could, he um, should be getting over it matches more because he seems to be beaten up a lot. He lost lot last week against Randy, Randy Orton for some stupid reason. It's right. uh, it's a whole thing. I don't get that. I don't get that. Yeah, but Jinder, Jinder is the champion, so you are right. He should be winning matches, and he has just beaten Randy Orton a bunch. Yeah. It would, it would so be just nice keep the momentum going. Yeah, piss nice the fans to, off. Yeah, exactly. It would be nice to just give him like a nice clean win to make him look strong going into SummerSlam. But no. Yeah, because he's always got the Smith brothers. <laughs> yeah. Like, especially Smith keeping brothers. that up, by the way. That's not going away. No, it's good. I like it. Yeah, it's good. They went full on Bollywood boys during this segment, by the way. <laughs> they did, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like yeah. when the dancing and stuff was going on by the extremely talented Indian dancing people at the top of the ramp, some of the crowd, crowd did actually clap because. It it was fine. It was it was, right, it was yeah. good. Yeah, I mean, you obviously you get the complete Americans. Do you you don't belong here. Yeah, don't dance on our stage. We're American and all that shit. Yeah, right. USA, and, uh, USA. Yeah. So then uh, American <laughs> hero Nakamura interrupted. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. Uh, American oh, action hero Shinsuke Nakamura. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. And uh, yeah, Nakamura's still tip over, especially in Boston, and. Uh, yeah, he just basically said... <laughs> no, this wasn't in Boston, I don't think. Not Boston, where, where was it? Brooklyn. Brooklyn? Brooklyn, Brooklyn. Yeah. Brooklyn, um, Brooklyn. I don't think it was in Brooklyn either, was it? 
Was it not? SummerSlam's in Brooklyn, right? Yeah. Don't they normally do the, the show It's in before? Rhode Island. Providence, Rhode Island, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know America. Who cares? Anyway, <laughs> where, where, wherever it was. It was, it was in was, America. There it was go. somewhere in America <laughs> where apparently they don't like Indian people. For yes. S- I, that's what WWE thinks, apparently. <laughs> apparently so. Um, but yeah, no, no it was um, it was the right segment. Black Mo came down to said, I'm going to beat you. Um, but it's Japanese accent. Wait, wait what, what was that voice? <laughs> it was... It was uh, Finn, you cannot do that voice. <laughs> 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 Uh, Misa, sorry, I'm Pichu. <laughs> this Terrible. has been the Games and Bass <laughs> podcast. We're now taken off the air <laughs> the, uh, because <laughs> just, just doing that typical like racist American thing of not knowing Chinese and Japanese, whatever. Anyway, he's <laughs> not Chinese; he's Japanese. I know that's that's a joke, Finn. There's a that's, there's a really massive hole that you've just jumped in. That's the joke. That's a, yeah. oh, was, oh, that was the joke. Okay, I'm yeah, sorry. I Never mind. Yes. You'll, you'll never get to hear this podcast anyway because it'll be taken down. So. Uh, yeah, it'll be taken down immediately. Uh, rip. So then we had uh, <laughs> Becky Lynch versus <laughs> Italia. And it was fine. I skipped this match. Yeah, don't blame me. Is that Italia won. Becky, because... Becky's entrance is crap without the uh, smoke, isn't it? A little bit, yeah. Why did it take the mm. mic away? Hmm. Well, the, the WWE are cutting back on Pyro, aren't they? They look like cost cutting. Yeah, I guess so. That sucks. Oh, so that's, that's why, like, when when Brock does his, his entrance, I think he has to fart just to make it <laughs> make it seem legit. Yeah, it's like, like you know, yeah, exactly, yeah. But it's like they're, they're doing like cost cutting. I don't understand why. And then they hire all those Indian dancers for just Virginia <laughs> Mahal's like ten minute segment at the beginning of SmackDown. Yeah, it's a weird one. I mean, you know, they've been using pyro for the last oh Jesus well, Christ, as long as I can remember, like twenty years. Yeah, long long time. Long but, long uh, time. But oh, yeah, um, so Italy won. It was, fine. It was no game match. Um, it makes sense because Italy's going on to face um, Naomi at some time. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, fine. You're welcome. <laughs> sure. I mean, it's yeah, it's fine. Oh, and, and then come back again afterwards and say, like, hey, I'll quite money in the bank. I'm also here. Yeah. Bye. With James <laughs> Ellsworth as well, who yep, uh, returned now. last week on SmackDown, it I did. think. Was it last week? It was last week, yes. It's the latest yeah, suspension yeah, right okay. now. And now we came back. So, great. Good. <sighs> so then the, <laughs> we had a backstage segment with the Usos. It was all to Daniel Bryan. Us. Oh. Uh, gangster. And they won a match against uh, Xavier and Kofi. And uh, <laughs> Daniel Bryan was talking in the gangster. He was like, oh, yeah, I got you dogs. And he liked the fist bump, but he like grabbed the hands. And it was hilarious. It was very funny. Daniel Bryan Classic white person trying to be... Uh... <laughs> trying to do gangster things that's what it is isn't it yeah Daniel Bryan's hilarious uh, yeah, Daniel Bryan is awesome yeah wasted <laughs> wish you, wish, just wish you could wrestle yeah I'm sure you can just let him wrestle WWE you know, I don't, you tell it wants to yeah. I read that um, there's, there's me again reading um, <laughs> that like even when his WWE contract expires um, he can't go wrestle in Japan because apparently they hold the same sort of uh, concussion policy that WWE does. Oh, really? Whereas if you have had one too many concussions and have been signed off for that reason, yeah, it's not happening. Hmm. Shame. It's se- I mean, it's sensible from a health perspective. <laughs> I mean, it is. It is. Makes sense. You don't want to, rather than them not wrestling, be healthy and then wrestling and be like paralyzed life or whatever. Rip. Rip. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> Uh, so we, had, um, God, we are the most disrespectful podcast. We're, we're, we're bad people, yeah. We're terrible people. This week we are. It's 69. <laughs> it's, it's, it's episode 69. We're allowed it to be. It's, it's a 69 influence. We did say this. You were warned. You, you were warned. Exactly, yeah. 69 influence. Yeah. Mm, no, uh, so we had... Uh, you good? Yeah. Brilliant. We had Bruce Lee versus uh, yeah. Chad Gable, uh, which was short. Uh, Chad Gable did a belly-to-belly to Bruce F. Uh, Bruce F got mad. Beat up Gable on the outside, threw him into the steps, and then I like, threw him over the announce, announce table, and there was a double count out. And then there, uh, Rusev like locked him, on the, well, locked him into the accolade on the announce table uh, for a while, and Orson awesome doesn't come back to help. Dick, I'm not, su- I'm not sure um, <laughs> what difference doing it on the announce table makes. If I'm being honest, like well, yeah. if you're throwing somebody through the announce table, I get it, but if you're doing a submission on the announce table, I'm not sure what difference it makes. Yeah, probably that much. But because uh, you've already got rid of everything, you've already got rid of people's phones and the monitors and JBL's hat or whatever. <laughs> so I don't really see how it makes any sort of difference. Anyway, I, you know, 
I've never had an accolade done on me on the, on the announce table, so... So, yeah, um, yeah. What, do I, what do I know, right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, they talked up Chad Gable again, didn't they? They did, yeah. That's a good thing. On the comms, yeah. Gable was excellent. Um, so, afterwards, Rusev went back in the ring, had a microphone, was about to say something, but then, oh, okay, I ran out of nowhere. Oh, hashtag out of nowhere. Hashtag Smackdown. Hashtag, <laughs> oh, my God. Hashtag vinyl videos. Hashtag oh, vinyl? Yeah. Viral videos. The hashtag. Vinyl videos. Bring it back. V- vinyl. Yeah. Old school. Oh, wow, there's a massive spider under my radiator. Oh, really? <gasps> it's just hanging out there. It's done nothing wrong. <laughs> I had a big spider in my, my house the other day. My cat chased it away. Thanks, cat. All right, excellent. Cat's are helpful. Rip. <laughs> Rip. Uh, then, uh, what, what happened? Oh, we had uh, AJ Styles apologising to uh, Shane McMahon, which uh, he accepted, but it was like, but if you touch me again and I'm a referee, then I'm going to fight back or... I'm well, the words you. he actually used were, I'm going to put my hands all over you. It was very did, sexy. Yeah. I'm going to put my hands all over you, AJ. Hey, mm. you touch me again, AJ, and I'm going to put, <laughs> I'm going to put my hands all over your body. Mm. Oh, my goodness. He didn't say body, but that was, that was Shane, me sexualizing it. Shane Senpai. Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh, Jesus. This is, like, this, is like some, this is like some uh, sort of fan fiction right here. Right? <laughs> it is, yeah. Yeah. yeah, like somebody somewhere is fapping over the idea of uh, uh, Shaman Man rubbing his hands all over AJ Styles' body. Yeah, I'd ship it. Uh, so, no, uh, Kevin Owens came down, <laughs> says himself, scuffle yeah. in shoes, as it does. Uh, KO tried to super kick AJ, missed, and super kick Shane right in the face. Oops. Incredible timing from AJ, by the way. Yeah, just throw it out of the way. And then, just in time. Just in time. Eyes in the back of like Shane was in his ear. Exactly, yeah. Like, now. Out yeah. my face. Good, good job. We know wrestling real and not predetermined or fake. Or anything. That's true. Yeah. yeah, we know the truth. It's not. It's, it's, it's it is real. Yeah, of course. Yeah, AJ, AJ Styles just he's got incredible timing and sixth sense. He does. Yeah, he's psychic. Mm. No one does it. Yeah, he is. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so we had uh, the Usos. Us. Us. Oh. <laughs> the sorry, new... okay. I, I fucked it up. I, yeah, I messed uh, it up. I was I was there for the O and then messed it up. Yeah, that's all right. It's all good. Let's, let's try day. again. Okay, the Ooze. Oh, hey, versus the New oh, yeah. Day. Uh, Xavier Baby. Kofi. Uh, decent match, but short. because fuck SummerSlam. Because fuck SummerSlam. Uh, but mm. short. Um, because SummerSlam. Uh, the New Day win. No, no, no. The Ooze win. Uh, attacking Kofi's leg and then hitting like a double super kick uh, on Kofi. And uh, yeah, so Ooze pin Ooze Ooze. <laughs> The Usos <laughs> win, uh, pinning the tag team champions. So, yes. How, building, how do you even get Uface? Uface, I don't know. I think New Day, Usos, I don't know. <laughs> That's not, it's not even near. I don't know. Our brain Uface? Uface. <laughs> my, my brain hurts. <laughs> this podcast hurts this week. <laughs> it does a bit. <laughs> oh dear. Uface. Uface. So then... Then we had another, the final edition of uh, Fashion Peaks uh, with the uh, Fashion Files or Fashion Police guys. Police. We can go. Mm. Uh, and there's, it's running again. Yeah, do you uh, think it's running its course slightly? Yeah, it is a bit. I think yeah. it's, I think it's the last one they're doing. Is it going to return again in two weeks, which I think means they're going to be wrestling again in two weeks, I'd imagine. Shrug. Is one of them injured then or something? I don't know. Weird. Possibly. We still don't know what's going on here, do we? We still don't know. They essentially just keep turning up in these comedy skits that they do. <laughs> they don't do. get me wrong, they are very funny. I do like them. Yeah. yeah. But, I don't know. But is yeah, it, they would... It was a weird one. So, uh, I think so. Um, so, the Ascension brought back the pie, because it had gluten in it, and they're gluten-free. They had gluten-free lifestyle. Uh, yeah, that's true, yeah. And uh, in, in the pie, they found a note which said, uh, two bees... What does it mean? Two bees. Mm. Two bees, not two bees. Hmm. What do you think it means? Is it, do you think that's the like the initials of the tag team, or I don't know. I was trying to think of who it could be with two bees. I think it's the Beverly Brothers. Beverly Brothers. Who are they? From back in the day. You uh, wait, old school. Oh, I'm looking. At re- really, that's on. really, really old school. Really old uh, school. Lanny Poffo was actually uh, the the manager. Of the Beverly Brothers, yeah. he was then known as the Genius. Oh, of course. Yeah, and they used to, it was Bo and Blake, the Beverly Brothers. Nice, good knowledge. Thank you. Now, if it <laughs> turns out to be the Beverly Brothers, I will 
eat my can of Diet Coke. <laughs> just eat the, eat the whole can. Eat, literally eat it. I won't even drink it. I'll just eat the whole thing. Of, of course, other sugar-free, carbonated soft drinks are available. Of course. Bing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, excuse me. Speaking of soft drinks, I'm burping. Uh, so we had um, uh, Cena, Cena, John Cena versus Jinder Mahal in the standard Jinder Mahal versus Cena match. It was fine. Uh, Jinder kicked out with an AA, which is pretty cool. I need to stop you there. Uh, okay. At the beginning of the show, uh-huh. Tom Phillips said, and I quote, <laughs> this is quite possibly the biggest match in SmackDown history. <laughs> really? Jinder versus Jinder? Jinder versus Jinder. What is wrong with you today? I said Cena. Cena versus Jinder. You said Jinder. Did I? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, Jinder I'm, versus Jinder. It's, it's a red thunder. It's, uh, it's come, come back to hold me. It's messing with you, isn't it? It is a bit, yeah. yeah. I think someone spiked um, it. Yeah, Cena versus Jinder is one of the biggest matches, if not the biggest match, in SmackDown history. But it's true. It's too, too Give massive. me <laughs> a break. Yeah, it's true. It's a bit rubbish. You've had The Rock versus Triple H on SmackDown. True. You've Triangle had, versus uh, you've had, Brock Lesnar. Yeah, on SmackDown. Mm-hmm. All of these matches are bigger than John Cena versus Jinder. And especially <laughs> Jinder versus Jinder. Yeah, <laughs> worst match ever. <laughs> yeah, God, oh God. Uh, I hate when they do that. It's like every every week is the biggest deal. It is, yes. Oh, it's the first time ever. Oh, biggest wrestling match of all time. Oh my God, explosions. Oh my except, God, it's bigger than it's, it, it's, it's bigger than Hogan versus Andre. Oh my God, biggest of all time. Oh, every, oh. Uh, but uh, yeah, so Jinder <laughs> kicked out with AA. I just seen him over his like super top rope AA. And then uh, Baron Corbin, out of nowhere, work on the bin, attempts. Uh, beat up Cena, goes to walk away, but then realises, oh wait, I am in the bank, I can cash it in right now. Uh, and so he does. Uh, the match starts, Jinder gets up slowly, uh, the bell rings, Cena's up on the apron, uh, as uh, Baron Corbin goes to punch Cena off the apron, uh, Jinder rolled him up and won, with the great, the most destructive finishing move of all time, the roll up. Yep. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big time punishing, finishing move, the roll up. It is, yeah. It gets you right in the everything. Mm. This is, this whole sequence was so incredibly poorly done. It was weird, yeah. And here's why. So, when Cena hit the AA from the top rope, before he pinned, he looked to see if Baron Corbin was on his way. Oh, yeah. Then oh, r- hooked the leg uh, for the ref to start his count. Uh, when Baron Corbin and Jinder was about to start, Baron Corbin kept looking behind him for mm. Cena. I see that actually, yeah. Uh, and then when the bell rang, of course, Baron Corbin instantly knew he was there <laughs> to hit it with psychic a punch. Powers. And the role, you know, again, they, they see psych, psychic powers again, six cents. Yeah. And the roll up was crap. It was a bit. It yeah. almost looked like Baron Corbin's shoulders weren't even on the mat. Yeah, he was kind of laying there. It's perfectly still. What are you trying to kick out? It's like, oh, what? I was in two. I was, that was a three. I was two. Oh. Oh, it's, and, uh, it's not like his money in the bank briefcase on the line or anything. Why try? Yeah, it's why even bother. So, yeah, that's, weird, that's a really weird one. Weird, weird anti climax end to Corbin's money in the bank briefcase. Yeah. Now, I don't know if it's because mm. everybody was sort of thinking that Shinsuke would win on Sunday, then Baron Corbin instantly would cash it in. Maybe. Maybe it's worth, but I don't know. All, 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 I, all I know is Baron Corbin better be the most pissed off he's ever been on Sunday and just beat the shit out of Cena. Because otherwise, it's making all the things no sense. Correct. If Cena wins on Sunday, then I'm calling bullshit. Yeah, me too. Because I just yeah. think it it's ridiculous for Baron Corbin to lose the Money in the Bank briefcase at this point. Yeah, I mean, it's not it's not like it's bad been bad at it. I mean, then it's like it's been doing a good job. I thought. Yeah, it's been doing a good job. And yeah. if people were predicting that he was going to cash in against Shinsuke, just have him not do it. Exactly. Just wait. He's got plenty of time. Yeah, so he's got until <laughs> next year. Exactly. Oh, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I th- he better put Cena on the shelf until yeah. Cena comes back and on Raw or whatever. Yeah. But then what's, the what's next with Baron? Then what's next with Baron Corbin? Yeah, so maybe he'll go, maybe um, Jinder will lose to Nakamura and then they'll, Nakamura and Corbin have a feud. Maybe Corbin can win it off Nakamura, but it might be too soon. I don't know. Who knows? Mm, who knows? But that was SmackDown and it was fine. It was fine, Yeah. Like a, like B a C. Minus. 
Yeah, B minus, C plus, yeah. It was fine. Yeah. Highlight, magic, highlight. magic, B minus. <laughs> yeah, minus. Highlight, highlight of the show was Danny Bryan talking gangster to the users. For sure. Where's Mike Bennett and Sami Zayn? Where's all these people? Oh, yeah. Where's Mike Bennett? Hmm. Sad face. He's not on Summerslam either, is he? No. God damn it. Sami's not either. God damn it. Look what he is. Well, I mean, lots of people are because it's like 100 matches, but no, no one I care about. <laughs> yeah, I know. It sucks. I, oh, 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 I don't know. We've got so so many talented guys. Yeah, this did not mean you. This, Shame. No, that sucks. Rip. 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 So, as well as SummerSlam, we have mm. NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 3. Oh, yes. This coming Saturday evening. Let's run through the matches and give our predictions on them because, of course, it is predictions time once again. Of course. Let's start from the bottom of the card working up. Are you going to write down the predictions? I will indeed. Okay. So, bottom of the card upwards. First of all, we've got Johnny Gargano. Ah, uh, yes. Versus Andrade Cien Almas with Zelina Vega. Ooh, Vega. Who nice. is Andrade's new female manager lady. I like her. I like her too. Um, I'm going to go for the returning Johnny Gargano. Uh, yeah, I think... Oh, actually, hmm, I what just I thought. I think it will look like Johnny Gargano... Gargano is going to win. I can't say his name. Johnny okay. Gargano. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah. Um, but I think it's going to look like he's going to win, but then out of nowhere, uh, Tommaso Ciampa will come back and got to the match. Or like anywhere, DQ or something. Cause he cause he is Tommaso clear to wrestle now? Or is he injured? He was injured, yeah. That's why he's been oh, off shoot. TV for so long. I didn't know that. Okay. Maybe not then. I, mean, I don't know if he's been cleared or not. He may very well have been. Maybe. Who knows? But uh, if, if he is uh, cleared, then I think that's what will happen. Because okay. obviously that's going to be viewed because those last would be amazing. Um, <laughs> so, Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, also with this, I mean, you, you know, Andrade could win because it would seem now that they've given him the, the, the valet, you know, that maybe momentum's on his side now and maybe he'll pick up some wins. But Johnny's only just come back, so it's a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of a it's, a... it's a tough one to call, to be perfectly honest. A little bit, yeah. I like uh, Johnny Gargano's uh, new music as well. Like, NXT has good music. Main master, NXT does have good music. Mm, yeah. This sucks. I, I'm, I'm sticking with Johnny. I'm sticking with Johnny Gargano to win this. Johnny's my guy. Johnny wrestling. Yeah, he's great. Um... Hmm. I'm, 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 I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to give it Andrade. Okay. See, see how that <laughs> Because, yeah, it's worth. Um, maybe maybe Chamber will be there in some, in some degree. I don't know. All right. Uh, then we've got Alistair Black versus Hideo Itami. Ooh, this is a big one. Lots of kicks. This will be good. Uh, plenty of kicks. I mean, um, Hideo's been quite good as of late. I think he's maybe a heel now. He is a heel, yeah, absolutely. And Alice the Black is very, very popular and extremely awesome as well. So yep. um this is gonna be this is gonna be a good one. I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be hard hitting. Um it should be excellent. Um I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for Hideo to win this. Nice. Okay, okay. Uh I don't know why. I just have a feeling that Hideo's gonna win. Alice the Black's been on a real roll since coming into NXT. Yes. Um I mean it depends what plans they've got. For him going forward, I mean, does he win this, then move into the title picture? Is it too soon for that, maybe? Um, I think Hideo's been had quite a bit of momentum on his side recently, and he needs to keep that up. So yes. For that reason, and this would be a big win for Hideo, I'm saying Hideo's going to win. I like it. Yeah, I like Hideo. I like his new, uh, more aggressive attitude he's had. Um, but it suits him as well. It does, yeah. Um, but Alice has been, as you say, he's been on a huge winning streak. I don't think going to end it just yet. I think it's going to serve to make Hideo, Hideo even more pissed off and angry, just pushing over the edge just a bit more as a heel. Um, so I think okay. I'd say Alice is going to win it. Maybe Hideo, Hideo attacks after the match as well. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then we've got the Authors of Pain versus Sanity, Alexander mm-hmm. Wolf and Killian Dane for the this NXT Tag Team Championships. Yeah, so have they sort of turned Elf Order to Pain face, do you think? Hard to tell. Uh, I can't work it out because yeah. it, I don't think Sanity are, are faces, are they? Don't seem like it, no. They've been doing all the uh, attacking, so to speak. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I th- 
I really don't know. Uh, I think in NXT, those lines are, are blurred anyway, so I don't think it really matters. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Um, I would go, I, I think Sanity are going to win this, and they're going to capture the tag team titles. Nice. Um, yeah, I think so as well. Uh, I think they need it more than Orders of Pain do. Yeah, because Aud- it's not really working for uh, for Sanity, really. It's not as, uh, it's not taken off as much as I think maybe it should have. Yeah. With, yeah. you know, the entrance is cool, but it just seems to fall flat every single time. Does a bit. Um, but um, uh, Eric, wait, what's his name? Eric Young? Eric, Eric Young. Young. Yeah, he's back now. Um, so hopefully there can be a bit more to it now because it was a bit, a bit scattered when he got injured. Um, but now I hope they can yeah. bring it all back together and uh, there can be a big team again. Yeah, and they can dominate. And that's why I think um, with Eric Young being back, I think they'll probably try and dominate NXT. And yeah. that's why I think they'll capture the NXT tag team titles this time. Me too. Cool. Cool. Oscar versus Ember Moon for the NXT Women's Championship. Ah, that's a big one as well. This is a big match. Now, it is. We were talking earlier on about the women's division being a little bit thin. Mm. Or it being centred around, you know, a certain amount of people. This is on the main roster. Um, NXT is bringing women through. And, you know, they're starting to sort of um, become... It's starting to become a good division again, I think. Yeah, it is. Uh, you, you've got Ruby, you've still got um, the iconic uh, duo, uh, Billy Kay and Peyton Royce. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you've still got Liv Morgan and other, other people sort of scattered around as well. So there's, there's, a, there's a wealth of talent there. And, of course, with the Mae Young Classic coming up next weekend, you're gonna, I think you're going to see people from that coming into NXT as well, oh, making yeah, that division sure. very strong, which I think potentially frees Oscar up. Yes. Now, so he's gone hell of a winning, winning streak. Like he's broken all, like everywhere, or whatever, as far as like winning streaks go and championship reigns go. So, uh, yeah, I think yeah. I think it's Oscar's time to drop that belt. I think so as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, to I, be honest, I think. I th- so I do they, they, with they, it? Yeah, I'm fine with it. I'm gonna say, to be honest, um, I can see her having the same sort of run on the main roster as well, just having a be, become champion and holding it forever. Um, like until someone comes along to take it, because it's worth I think somewhere. it would have to be. I think it would have to be the Raw Women's Championship. Yeah, I can see that. As opposed to SmackDown, she's she's a big enough superstar to be on Raw. Oh, yeah. I think, and yeah, I I see Oscar losing now. I think Ember Moon's time has come. She's she's worked hard. She she looks the part. Yeah, and great. she's. We, I mean, it was always sort of the case where people thought that Ember would be the one to take it from Oscar. Yep, and I still think that. I think now's the. I, th- <laughs> I think now I think now is absolutely the time. Yeah, me too. Oscar has been excellent for NXT, but now they're starting to build a, a, a more of a women's division. Um, I don't think Oscar's needed, and she can go and do bigger and better things on the main roster. Yeah, and Ember can carry the women's championship forward and do it proud, and I'm sure she will. Yep, I completely agree. And, uh, Bobby yeah. Roode versus Drew McIntyre for the NXT Heavyweight Championship of the Bobby. world. Woo. This is a real interesting one to me. Um, I think Bobby Roode could do a job on the main roster. One hundred percent. I think Drew could as well. But yeah. I think Drew needs NXT more than what Bobby Roode needs NXT. Sure. Well, at this point in his career, at least. Yeah, I think so. So for that reason. I'm going to say Drew McIntyre wins the belt. Okay. I think Bobby Roode's going to go up to the main roster after SummerSlam? Not straight away. Not straight away. Okay. Um, I also think um, Drew McIntyre... I think Adam Cole has a has a say in this. Oh, uh, yeah. He's been... Uh, rumoured to have been signed now, hasn't he? Which is yeah. Cool. And, I I mean, he's, he's ready to go. He's good to go. Oh, yeah. Adam Cole, baby. Doesn't need... Doesn't need WWE mentality training or whatever the fuck. No, like um, he just does. He, it's like, he's keep it next to go straight to me. Yeah, Adam Cole is good to go. I I think he has. Uh, it, well, it's one of two things. He, he's either shown in the crowd before, like mm. they do, like you know what they do in NXT. They show them sitting down watching the wrestling or whatever. Or he has a say in this and uh, helps Drew McIntyre win. Interesting. Okay. I don't have any reasoning behind that. Uh, I just know that he's signed to NXT and I know that he's due to debut soon. So that's my that's my reasoning behind that prediction. But 
Uh, either way, I'd be happy to see Adam Cole. I think it's going to be an excellent addition to NXT when he does turn up. Oh, yeah. Um, but I would also love to see Drew McIntyre win the championship. Uh, and I would also love to see Bobby Roode move on to the main roster. I mean, he's not getting any younger. And I think he's at a point now where he would do uh, the main event scene either on Raw or SmackDown uh, a very good service. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, the only thing that's stopped me from agreeing is that they've still got that thing going on with... Um, oh, God, I've forgotten his name again. Um, uh, well, looked wrong. With uh, him and Bobby Roode, still got a feud going on still. Okay. So they've got to finish that off. Kind of, maybe Roderick wins it off him. Mm. I'd, I'd love that. Really, I really, really would love that. Lay down line. Well, the other, the other thing is, mm. um, Adam Cole costs Drew McIntyre the uh, championship, and that's a feud, and then Bobby Roode then loses it to Roderick Strong. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe. Although I have read also that they could do a stable of former Ring of Honor guys, which is something, oh, yeah. which is an idea that they've, they've had. And obviously, Roderick Strong is one of those. Adam Cole, of course, was the Ring of Honor World Heavyweight Champion. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'm, there are others that have debuted recently as well that uh, are candidates for that. So, yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, that would be really, really cool. I'm sticking with Drew for now. Okay, I'll go. I'll go I'm by Brood. with Drew. I'll go by Brood for now. And um, yeah, I think maybe Roderick Strong may, might win it off him. Maybe oh, I'm happy for that. I'm really happy for that. Yeah. I think that'd be cool. Maybe even Adam Cole will be human. Um, who knows? We'll see. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Okay. Let's move on. So that's going to be NXT. I'm really, really looking forward to that. Um, Me too. Uh, those, those events were always amazing anyway. Oh, yeah. Um, let's move on to SummerSlam. Give our predictions for that. Yay. Are we looking at it? Right. SummerSlam. We've got here. So the first match I've got on here is uh, everyone's favourite. Big Show versus Big Gas. In an Enzo in a cage match. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> Who are we Who are you going for? Who am I going for? Um, I think Big Cass. It's got to be good, hasn't it? Yeah, it's got to be Big Cass. Yeah. Yep. They want to make him look big, and obviously Big Show's on his way out to a degree. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, it, it, it has to be a big cast, right? Got to be. Um, I don't know if it's going to play any role in this match, other than just to be there and annoying. Um, who knows? Uh, I think he will. I mean, He'll play a, a part somehow. Yeah. There's just no way he doesn't. Yeah. I don't know. I can't see him turning heel. That'd be too weird. He can't, can he? Surely not. <sighs> he sells he merch. He's, people like him. Surely they'll keep him based for now. I don't know. Who, Who knows? knows? We'll see. We'll see. We, we, as, you know, yeah. we, as you know, we're always wrong. So it means Big Show will win and Enzo will turn heel. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Uh, Maybe Big Show will turn heel. Everyone turns heel. Who knows? Well, yeah, Big Show. Big Show always turns heel anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so now we've got um, Randy Orton versus Rusev in a match that was thrown together because the other matter opponents, I guess. Mm. <laughs> yeah. No, n- neither of them have got anything else to do. So uh, Rusev wins. I think that's pretty much it. I, 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 I think so. Rusev wins, and I think Randy Orton maybe has to take a bit of time off here because uh, I, I don't see what else he can do. Yeah, he's feud feud with. Um, Jinder wasn't great. He's kind of just kind of there. The, the Punjabi Razor match was pretty terrible. It was very and terrible. Uh, it wasn't pretty terrible. It was very terrible. It was very terrible. And uh, Randy just... He's just boring, isn't he? <laughs> he doesn't fit... For me, he doesn't really fit in with the current landscape in WWE. Yeah. Now, I have I have heard that they're going to be doing a superstar shake-up, potentially. Now, oh, maybe yeah. he could go over to Raw and, you know, be boring there instead. <laughs> maybe, yeah. I'll be okay with that. I'm fine with that also, uh, but he, I think he, I think he should lose to Rusev. Uh, Rusev needs the wins. He does. Rusev uh, needs. Th- now this was also going to be my. It's what I was going to say actually. Rusev wins. Jinder loses. Rusev's in line to face Nakamura. Yeah, that'd be cool. Then that'd we can have that. that feud maybe. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, it'd be cool. Good thought. I'm down with it. Me too. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna say Rusev's job because yeah, he needs it. Uh, so we have uh, Finn Balor versus Bray Wyatt. I was going to say Demon Finn Balor. Ooh, oh, Bray you Wyatt. know what? I don't like that they've done that. There's like two different people now, aren't they? It's Finn Balor and then there's Demon Finn Balor. Yeah, so I don't like that they've announced it like that. I think it's just, it's better when he just turns up as the Demon. Yeah, yeah, I like it better as well. More. Oh, it, it's been surprised. confirmed for Sunday. It's Demon Finn Balor versus Bray Wyatt. It's like, no. Yeah, buy a merch. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah buy, our, buy our t-shirts and merch and pop vinyls and everything. This <laughs> is... It's like, come on, guys. Come on. Yeah. 
I'm looking forward to this one though. I mean, they'll be given a lot more time than they've been given on Raw. Raw was obviously just to set this demon thing up. Yep, because demons. Because demons, and because of that, Finn Balor wins. Uh, yep, I agree. Um, very much about because win streak. But by much. yeah, by much. But Finn Balor's is still coming back from injury. He needs. He's probably going to be made after this. So yeah, he needs it more. So Finn Balor. Yep, Finn Balor. Hashtag buy our merch. Yep, absolutely. Hashtag buy our toys. Hashtag demons. Hashtag <laughs> demons. Yep. So we have a rematch for the Cruiserweight title. We have Neville versus Kira Tozawa. Probably on the pre-show. Let's be honest. Yeah, I hope it's not on the pre-show. Um, it deserves yeah, to be on the sure. on the uh, on the full show. But um, yeah, I think probably will be on the pre-show. I'd like to think they won't bounce that Cruiserweight title back to Neville straight away. Hmm. And I'd like to see Akira Tozawa have it for a little while just to see what he does with it. And I think that's what's going to be the case. I don't think they'll take it off him. Not just yet. Yeah. Give him time with it. Absolutely. You have to give him time with it. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. Uh, I'm sticking I'm, I'm sticking with uh, Tozawa. Plus, the Titus brand worldwide t-shirts are, uh, are awesome. So Worldwide? Worldwide. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I can't do it. I can't. <laughs> no, me neither. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go with Tazawa as well for like reasons I spoke about earlier. I think Neville's going to go off and do his own thing, hopefully on the, on like the main roster. And Tazawa can be on New Feud with uh, the guys that we don't really have seen a lot of yet. I'd be really happy with that. I think yeah. it's probably good because it almost felt like it was getting unfair every week. Like Neville just kept pasting people. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, but yeah, I like it. Um, so yeah. we have, yeah, so we have the New Day. Versus the Oohs. Oh's. Yeah. Yes. Um, we nailed yeah. it. Nailed it. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, here we go. Uh, New Day Tag Team Champions at the minute, aren't they? They are need. Uh, I don't think they'll lose it. I think it's... Um, SummerSlam seems like a really obvious card, doesn't it? Um, Does a bit. So far. I think, I think New Day win, just because um, they have to move on to somebody else, because this feud has been going on for a while now, so... Uh, although it's been good and I've enjoyed it and the matches have been good as well as the build up uh, I do think uh, Fresh Faces whoever that might be needs to um, come into the tag team title picture so I'm going to say New Day okay um, yeah I'm going to go New Day as well I can't yeah as you say this feud's gone on a while now it needs to be on to someone else and uh, yeah New Day same yeah it is, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it really? Yeah. Yeah. Strange. Um, and I think this one to be just as predictable. Um, Naomi versus Natalia for the women's championship. Um, championship. Now, I think Naomi wins. Uh, yep, me too. <laughs> because uh, I can't. What, I can't see I understand, being uh, No. From what I understand, they plan on keeping the the women's championship on Naomi for at least the rest of the year. Okay, that'd be cool. Yeah, and, and then it build up to an eventual feud versus Charlotte. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, sure. Uh, I can't because I can't be no, dealing with Natalia as the women's champion. <laughs> uh, no, me neither. Um, she's she doesn't do it for me. I'm afraid. I mean, she's, she can wrestle, but just like everything else, just not so and, much. Until we find out whether she's wearing pants underneath her uh, <laughs> her costume, yeah, uh, she can't be women's champion. I'm afraid. No, exactly. We need to know. We need to know. We should tweet her and ask her. We should. Natalia, do you wear underwear under your attire? Yeah, it kind of, kind of comes across a bit pervy, doesn't it? <laughs> Maybe we should create a fake account and yeah. ask her that way. That'd be better. <laughs> Agreed. Oh I'll create one called Finn Steel. Wait. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> dear. Naomi wins. Uh, yeah, agreed. Uh, so then we have uh, Alexa Bliss versus Sasha Banks for the War Women's title. Uh, I'd like to see Alexa Bliss keep her championship, hmm. but a part of me does think that Sasha's going to win. Yeah, good happen. I can't it put does... my finger on why. I just think that, I mean, I'd be happy for um, Sasha and Alexa feud to carry on for a little while longer, and um, obviously this is the way to do it. The only other, the other thing is Alexa wins, and then Oscar comes uh, in the next night on Raw. Oh. And uh, starts a few with Alexa for the championship. Maybe, maybe. Hmm. I want uh, to say you know I'm I'm going to say Alexa. Okay. I'm going to say I want to say Sasha because I don't I know eventually they want to go they're going to want to do Bailey versus Sasha. Um. 
you can say that though because mm. Bailey's out for a while now. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, yeah, I think Alexa as well. Yeah, Alexa, yeah. like this. Because okay. it's actually always been like just like last minute replacement, and they don't often win match, win championship matches if that like, like replacement people. We could be surprised, I mean. but I don't think could we be. will be. No, I don't think so. Uh, so yeah, I'll go with the same thing. I like this. Bad. All the same predictions so far. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <coughs> me. Good times. Yeah, so me, good times. So we have uh, Zoe and Seamus versus Dean Ambrose and Seth against the Shield. Uh, and no one else. No, no one <laughs> else. No, no, no. For the uh, tagging trials. Um, who am I? Uh, I think Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose win. Mm, because WWE love doing this. They do. They love to... Yeah, they, they love the odd couples as tag team champions. Cesaro and Sheamus are a prime example of this. There you go. Um, yes, I think uh, Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose win. I think that's it. Cool. Um, I can definitely see them having the, t- the tag team title belts and then Roman winning the Universal title and then having like, the Shield reunion with having Roman with the main belt and then those two with the tag team belts. And it's like, oh, look, look, look all the, the Shield has all the belts. Isn't that cool? Five yeah, um, they could do that, <laughs> and that to be honest, they are going to put the shield back together at some point, I think. Of but, um, yeah, I, I think for now, Seth and Dean winning the titles is just about enough to keep the hardcore shield faithful <laughs> going for a little while longer. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it's Zoe and Seamus. Uh, I think it's might be too obvious that Seth are going to win, I, I think they will win it eventually, but, um. Yeah, I think they're going to wait until Roman's whole deal is done and then maybe Roman into it so they can win it together. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, it, it almost shows that they don't know what to do with Seth and Dean at the minute. <laughs> kind of, yeah. So they just throw them together. This is classic WWE, though. They do this. If they don't know what they're going to do with somebody, they'll just put them in a tag team. Pretty much. It's, it's happened so many times down the years that it's just a thing now. Yep. But that's, that's why I'm going for Seth and Dean. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna give it to Zoe and Seamus just to be different, and uh, because yeah, it's too obvious. Maybe, maybe, um, maybe. So then we have uh, John Cena versus Baron Corbin. Um, we should be really pissed off with as lot as uh, Money Bank. Uh, we have guess. Um, who we got? Corbin. I'll take Corbin. Corbin, absolutely Corbin. Um, Corbin. Just for the, for the reasons that we said earlier on. Exactly. That Cena's cost him that Money in the Bank briefcase. He should be the most pissed off he's ever been in his entire life. Yep. And for that, he should absolutely wail on Cena, and Cena should be out for a little while. Yep, agreed. Yeah, this all seems very whatever. rushed to me. But <laughs> Does a bit. And I can't quite um, work, work it all out, but I don't know. It's just seems very strange that Corbin wins the Money in the Bank briefcase and then loses it. Uh, I want to know why but yeah. we're probably never going to get those answers and I just think Baron Corbin beats Cena. Um, yep, Isn't that big too. win legitimises him a bit more maybe? It does, yeah, exactly. And uh, makes gives, gives, gives Cena a good, good excuse to be able to well. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. So we have uh, Jinder Mahal versus Shinsuke Nakamura for the WWE title. Uh, Nakamura Which wins, I think. Yes. Very interesting. <laughs> I, th- I think Nakamura will win. Um, just simply because from from what I've heard, uh, Jinder's title reign hasn't quite had the successful impact that WWE were hoping it would have in the part of the world that it wanted it to have it in. Yes. And, you know, Nakamura has had a great build. They, they clearly have a lot of faith in him. Yep. And I think it's time for Nakamura to shine Yes, I'm going to say the same thing again. Once again, same predictions. Boring, I know. I'm sorry, folks, but uh, <laughs> uh, it just makes sense. Jinder's not been great. He's not been made to look strong at all these past few past few weeks. And uh, but he's won every match by cheating. I mean, exactly. Yeah, he's lost his radical. There's no such look strong. I mean, it's fine winning as a heel that way every now and then to maintain that heel status. But if it's every single week, it just makes you look weak. Yeah, it does. And it's not good enough. Exactly. I, I mean, I, don't get me wrong, I like Jinder, and I think he looks the part as the champion, oh, yeah. but... He's just been booked uh, terribly, yeah, I think. As, as, he's been booked appallingly, yeah, and that's not his fault by any stretch. Um, he just has been booked appallingly. It's JBL and the cabinet all over again. 
Oh, yeah, pretty much. Oh, God. But worse, I think. But worse. Yeah. Oh, I hate JB. I'm winning champion. He was so boring. <laughs> yeah, that's, but that's, he, did his, not... he did his job as a heel champion, didn't he? Pissed everyone off. I guess. But that's the whole reason I stopped watching wrestling was because of JBL, basically, the first time around. He's like... Oh, wow. He's, okay. Yeah. He's, he's, I just found him so boring and just... Yeah. He's one, one type of heat to have. Yeah. <laughs> back in the day. Fair enough. At, at least the younger me, anyway. Wasn't a fan. But, uh, um. yeah. <laughs> so that brings us to what's probably going to be the main events. Uh, Brock Lesnar versus Braun Strowman versus Roman Reigns versus Samoa Joe for the Universal title. Um, it is a tough one to call this. Hmm. Uh, because I think any of those guys could win. Yep. <laughs> the way that it looks is that they wanted to sort of make it... From what I gathered by the end of Raw was that they want you to believe that Braun Strowman versus Brock Lesnar is the big thing here. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't think it is. I think that WWE trying to throw us off the scent of Samoa Joe winning the championship. Oh, nice. Okay. I'd be okay with that. I mean, Samoa Joe was the first one taken out of that four-way situation on Raw. He was. And also, they left the two monsters to fight each other. Now, that... You know, that could still very much happen, but it doesn't necessarily mean that Brock isn't going to lose the championship. Uh, you know? Yeah, so, what does it mean? Um, yeah, I think I think Samoa Joe wins, and I think he pins... I think he defeats Roman Reigns for it. That'd be cool. I don't think he beats Brock. Probably not. I don't think Brock takes the fall. Uh, I think Braun and Brock will be too busy beating each other up, and uh, Samoa Joe will beat... Roman Reigns, middle of the ring with a Kokita clutch, wins the championship. I'm going to have to use it happening, for sure. Um, Brock gets his rematch, and Roman and Braun Strowman flattens him during the rematch. Joe keeps the championship. Joe carries on with the title. Then it builds to uh, Brock Lesnar versus Braun Strowman somewhere down the line. Nice. I like it. I'm going to use it happening. A prediction that won't come true. <laughs> Yeah, mate. Um, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Braun Strowman. No, never do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Braun Strowman is gonna win it. Um, wow. Okay. Yeah, it's because the build's been huge. Everyone's Braun's been like a big surprise over the past year of like how far it's come. As a oh yeah, it's come on a long way. I, think, yeah. I still think it's too soon for him to win the title. I really do. Maybe. Um, but uh, but I don't know. You know, strange things have happened. Jinder Mahal's currently the WWE champion. So. <laughs> exactly. Um. But yeah, I think it's I think that's believable, and also it gets the rematch with uh, Braun versus Brock, which I think people want to see. It's probably a big win in that. Um, and yeah, I think Braun. And I think I think Braun when that match happens, I think Braun will win clean over Brock, over Brock make him look ultra strong, and uh, Brock will probably bugger off for a while to UFC or whatever. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, so yeah, Braun Braun Strowman, and it's going to be like books like a massive monster going forwards. And uh, unless. Yeah. We don't see Brock again. For a unless while, he, a long yeah, time. unless he does go away for just forever. <laughs> I mean, Paul Heyman did say if he loses that championship, he's leaving WWE, which means there will That's be true. no rematch. That's a good point. Good point. I mean, it's almost yeah. I don't know. Surely, this all the idea Braun versus Brock at some point. The boy, the boy goes. I think they might, but they might they might save it for WrestleMania or something. Maybe. Like, maybe yeah. But yeah, I, I think I'm going to take Braun. Okay. Braun's Whoa. That's the only one we haven't gone for the same person, isn't it? Yeah, no, that and the tag team as well. The Dean versus uh, Dean and Seth versus. Oh James. yeah, okay, yeah, fair enough, yeah. So that's SummerSlam, and I'm very much looking forward to it. And as always, you can catch either Finn or myself this Sunday from around half eight, nine o'clock, doing the SummerSlam prediction show on YouTube.com forward slash Daydreamer Gaming. Yeah, because it's that time of the month again. Time of the month, the best time. Of the month. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely the best time of the month. Finn. Hello. You know what to do. I do indeed. I actually have it, have it with me this week. So, the Games of Grass podcast is brought to you by the letter... P. P. For, for penis. penis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, had to, we had to shoehorn it in there. We had to. 69. Episode 69. Yay. 69. L M N O P. Found it. Right. <laughs> good good alphabeting there. This is Thanks. This is good good work. I, we really appreciate that. Oh cheers, thank you. I'll try. Um Ooh, a couple of good ones to start with. Um Oh Papa Shango. Remember him? 
<laughs> I do remember Papa Shango. Um, yeah, there Papa was a, a there was a food market in, in in where I live today. Oh yeah, and one of the market stores was called Papa Shango's. Oh nice. <laughs> I wonder where That's they've awesome. had that from. Yeah, so I wonder. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, got Pat Patterson, legend, still there today. Absolute legend, still hanging out. Uh, the Patriot, yeah. <laughs> generic American luchador. Who actually had um, Kurt Angle's entrance theme before Kurt Angle had that entrance theme. Oh, he did, yeah, you're right. <laughs> uh, Paul Burchill, who uh, was his hot sister, who incest, maybe? <laughs> Katie Burchill? Yeah, he was a pirate at some point, wasn't he? That was very strange. Yeah, he was also, also a pirate at some point, yeah. Because uh, yeah. Pirates of the Caribbean, maybe. Yeah, I met Paul Burchill in commentary. He was, an, he was a nice guy. Oh, cool. Uh, got Paul London, who's tagged in with Brian Kendrick. Yeah, it's a bit of a gobshite, Paul London. He's a bit. <laughs> yeah, very outspoken. Loves a shoot interview, does Paul London. <laughs> yeah, pretty much where he gets his money from these days. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> this is, uh, Percy Watson, now doing uh, commentary on NXT. Showtime Percy Watson. I, you know, I don't remember him in NXT at all. Uh, no, he was he did he was doing that um, like reality show era of NXT. Ugh. In his garbage, yeah, pretty much. Um... Who else we got? Fantasio, remember him? It's like Who? Magician. Fantasio. Did we do that one before? Uh, possibly, I think it might be, actually, yeah. <laughs> it's because I've got, like, the, the sting looking paint, paint mask with, like, cards and, like, doves and it's oh magician, God. basically. They've gone full on generic uh, magician, haven't they? Is this, this sure have. Yeah. Oh, they've got the tag team, the PMS. Uh... Oh, the, what, Pretty Mean Sisters? Was it like. Yeah, was it Pretty Mean Sisters, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, Jacqueline, isn't it? Yeah, Jacqueline. Um, Jay Quallen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jacqueline. Uh, Pe- um, I can't remember her name. Terry. Yeah, Terry and some other person. <laughs> I don't recognise. Um, mm, so many peas, lots of peas. Yeah, we've, we've not ventured into pea very often, have we? Yeah. Public enemy. Oh, okay, from ECW. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we've done, P- we've done PG-13 before. I remember them. Who? The PG-13. Like, the members of the Nation of Dom- Domination. Oh, the rappers. Yeah, yeah because Viz called, Viz called us out for uh, <laughs> for, for not ever like, heard, hearing of them. Yeah, yeah. JC, JC Ice and Wolfie D. Garbage. Terrible. <laughs> that fucking music's awful as well. Oh, dear. Sorry, Viz. I know you thought it was cool, but it's not. It sucks. It's like, it fucking sucks. It's awful. Yuck. Classic nineties WWE. Yeah, and uh, it's probably a good one. Um, Pam Pampiro Furpo. Pardon? Pam 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 Furpo. Go for it. Shrug. Um, he is from uh, un- unpronounceable from Argentina. Br- Buenos Buenos Aires. Br- Buenos, Buenos Aires. Come on, you idiot! One. Why have you never heard of Buenos Aires before? Because I've I don't know I've never been to Argentina. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Buenos uh, Aries is a famous place. Is it? Is you it uncultured swine? Hang on a bit. Drug geography is not my uh, my sub- subjects. Or maths or English. Or, apparently. or maths or English or or. Um, Finn didn't go to school. He just didn't go to school. Yeah. What was school? <laughs> yeah. What What even is school? It's a group of fish. Uh, yeah. So it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Vampiro Firpo was one of the original horrors of sports entertainments. The mighty madman from the Pampas of Argentina, I'm just probably saying that wrong, first appeared on the scene in the early 1950s. As if he was summoned from the Stone Age, Furpo's body was covered in his natural fur, while a bushy beard and wild hair obscured his head. In 1960, he appeared in Capital Wrestling Company and became known as a loathsome figure who was more concerned with hurting an opponents than winning a match. The Wild Bull vanished from the Northeast Territory and travelled throughout the National Wrestling Alliance. Uh, the peculiar Pamp- Pampero reappeared in <laughs> WWE in 1972. That was a long time. Uh, once again took aim at fan favourites. Furpo often screamed during his matches and became the first figure to coin the phrase, Oh yeah, I doubt that. I Do don't we... think he was the first person to say them, them two words together. Yeah, it seems, seems unlikely. <laughs> during his fits of rage in and out of the ring, Oh, he's okay. So he coined the phrase, oh yeah, during his visual rage, in and out of the ring. Got it. Got it, English. right. Eng- okay. English. There it is <laughs> again. Yeah. I went to school. He departed again for the NWA, where his wild wrath continued to earn him regional championships. 
His last match of public record was in October 1986. Two years before one. Um, for Carlos Colon's WWC promotion in Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, y- yes. P- Puerto Rico. <laughs> 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 there was no any love lost between this deranged individual and other superstars. Today's words like extreme and hardcore would be used to describe Furbo's ring style and behaviour. This week's episode of the Games of Grass podcast, podcast was brought to you by Leto, Let, Jesus Christ, the Leto P. By Pam and Hero. poor reading and poor pronunciation. Yeah, books. Wow. Thank wow. You. <laughs> I'd love to know how many words you said incorrect during that uh, during that reading. Put it like 50%. How much, <laughs> how much percent? 50, 60%. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Boys and girls, this has been yeah. episode 69 of the Games and Graps podcast. We are a almost weekly video game and wrestling podcast that posts almost every single Friday across podcast services everywhere. Everywhere. And youtube.com forward slash Sunny Finn Play. Yeah. And youtube.com forward slash Daydreamer Gaming. Yeah. Go follow us on Twitter at Game and Graps. And you can find us at Daydreamer Gaming. Also, Thank you very much for listening. This has been episode 69. I'm Sunny. I'm Ben. And we'll speak to you next time, guys. Thank you very much for listening. Take it easy. Goodbye. Thank you very much. Goodbye.